Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the seven most common PHP programming mistakes that cause your logic to fail and more importantly, how to fix each one. If your PLC program is not working 90% of the time, one of these mistakes is the reason. Let's start. Example 1. Wrong NONC contact selection. The first and most common mistake using a normal open contact instead of normal closed or vice versa. A stop button is wired NC but also used as NC contact in the ladder logic. In result, motor never starts. Check the real input state, replace with the correct instruction, NO with NC or NC with NO, and retest the program. Example number two, output never energizes. The second mistake, everything looks fine, but the output coil never turns on. Causes wrong tag, overlapping outputs, the condition is false. Now to fix this, go online and check the green execution path. Replace the wrong tag and remove any duplicate coils. A very important tip here, never use the same output coil in the multiple rungs. Example 3, sensor contact chattering. Let's assume we have a limit switch used to detect the presence of an incoming object. When the object makes contact with the switch, the contact does not close cleanly. It produces a chattering or bouncing signal before settling. This results in multiple rapid on-off transitions, which can cause false multiple detections. To prevent this, a debounce timer typically set to around 200 milliseconds is used. This timer filters out the unstable signal and ensures that only one clean stable detection is generated. Example number 4 is the wrong I.O. address mapping. Another big one. The PLC is fine but the wrong I.O. address is assigned. For example, the input is wired at I0.0 .0, but the program uses I0.1. Now to fix this, check the wiring, check hardware configuration and update tags with the correct addresses. Mistake 5. The PLC in stop or program mode. You would be surprised how many times nothing works. Simply the PLC is not in the run mode. How to identify? Simply the outputs don't energize and there will be no scanning of the ladder logic and the run LED turns off. To fix this, turn the PLC to run mode before testing. Example 6. Faulty sensor or wiring issue. Sometimes the program is perfect, the problem is in the hardware. You have to check loose wires, broken sensors, and check the control 24 volt DC power supply is available. To fix this one, simulate the inputs, force the input on temporarily, Replace or repair the damaged sensors. A safety note here, never force outputs on the real machinery, especially when the machine is running. Example 7. The scan cycle misunderstanding. Many beginners forget the PLC works in cycles. It scan input, read the logic and update the outputs. The common issue we face here is the one shot or very fast pulse start to miss. To fix this one, we have to use the edge detection, no latching signals. PLC scan cycle determines how the instructions behave. So these were the seven most common PLC troubleshooting mistakes that stop our program from working. If you found these helpful, share, like and subscribe for more real-world PLC tutorials. Till then, take care, goodbye.